Hey guys, today I wanna show you how to use in Unreal Engine 4. See, it's really everything's just being destroyed. So, this is what I'm going to show you today. So, first off, uh, instead of using a projectile, I'm just using a, a line trace by channel, channel set to visibility. Uh, and it's just, you know, the, the, the performance just much, much better than using the, a real physics based projectile. So this is what I did. Uh, this is a line trace channel starting from the gun itself. And, uh, I'm just getting the socket transform using the location to hit the start and get the board vector, uh, multiply it by something. In this case, I wanted it to be so big that uh, it wouldn't miss anything in this sense, so it's it could hit something in this sense, no matter how far is that object. So after that, we're uh, going to get the hit results because you know the <clears throat> uh, hit tracers getting some hit results, like uh, exactly how the projectiles doing the job. So. Uh, after that, we're having some events. So the event that I'm looking for here is just uh, the event for the uh, the destruction actor. So let me just find this real quick. Um, actually, this is the uh, what was it? This is the first person projectile code itself. I'm not using it at all. Yeah, this is the code that I was looking for. So first off, I'm casting to my enemy and myself because the enemy is using this code as well. It's actually not necessary here because it's just my character, but I'm just using it in case. Uh, after that, we have to cast to the destruct destructible actor. So just type destructible actor, cast it here, and the object will be going to the hit actor itself. So if the object, uh, if the uh, line tracer is hitting some destructible actor, this will cast successfully, and this will this will go this way. If it won't hit anything, or the uh, object that is hit is something different, this will this cast will fail. So this code will not execute. And if I'm having some other things as well here, so it really doesn't important for you guys. After that, get the destructible uh, component destructible component here and we have some code called apply radius damage so use that and the hurt origin will be the location itself the hit location uh, once we have the break hit results we have location normal and etc so we're just using the location to apply radius damage and these are the values that I'm using uh, base damage is 10 damage, damage radius is 50 impulse strength is 10. I'm using a low value of impulse strength because, uh, you know, bec uh, when the impulse strength is too high, it will push the wall completely off the surface. Let me show you some. Uh, if I'm using a hundred, um, oh, um, I'm sorry, just like this, something like this. It's actually much, much better. Yeah. <laughs> it's maybe too much, but uh, it's just... It's your choice, definitely. So I'm, in this case, I'm going to with a thousand. So uh, this is the code, code we needed. And after that, we have to uh, build our structure mesh. So the first thing you have to do for a destructible doing, uh, I'm sorry, creating a destructible mesh is go to the plugins and make sure the Apex destruction is enabled. This is very important. This is the uh, plugin that is needed for uh, destructible meshes. So uh, right click on something and uh, create destructible mesh. So we have something here. 
I I've just made sure that this is not set to 25. This had to be something like 500. I know that's too much, but uh, this is what it is right now. Damage threshold, as I've said earlier, is just 10. So I I'm going to make sure that with uh, one hit something will break. If it's going to be 20, then it will be like two hits, but I don't want it to be like that. So I'm just going to uh, go with 10. Um, okay, this is something that I'm using. This is the debris lifetime. It's actually a timeout. Uh, if the debris is falling on the ground for saving per uh, performance, you can actually set it something to like 10 to 20 seconds and they will eventually uh, this this be get destroyed by the uh, processor itself to save performance we need to make sure that accumulated damage is checked uh, debris timeout is kind of important uh, but it's just it, it's completely to you uh, sometimes you will need to use form extended structures. Uh, it's completely uh, onto you, uh, honestly, because uh, sometimes you will need to uh, extend the structures itself. It's like uh, it's it's completely actually like the things that set here. The structure will, will become part of an extended support structure if it is in contact with another static uh, destructible that has also this flex setup. Uh, so if I'm having this here and uh, I'm having something like this, these two will collide to each other and these two will become one. This is what it is about. So I'm not going to use that right now. I don't really need it. Support death uh, had to has to be one. Oh, we, we haven't had that anymore. So. Uh, this is for uh, debris timeout. If we want this to uh, get destroyed, then we have to enable deb debris, and this is going to be set to one. And uh, you have the effects here. There are some particle effects. Actually, it, this is the preview depth zero because I haven't fractured my mesh yet. So uh, you will have to ch um, set everything in the one value. So this is the particle system. This is the sound that's generated with every hit. So I'm going to fraction my mesh. It is going to take a while, so I'll just uh, cut off the video. Uh, actually, it didn't take <laughs> long enough, so it, it's, it's, it's all good. Um, so everything's completely fine, I guess. So let's go and try it out. Uh, yeah. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, this is what I, I was telling you, the whole structure will fall off to, to the ground. So I'm going to set this one to 10. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's not pushing the whole structure. Off, but that's like a real good thing. Yeah, this is it guys i hope you enjoyed and if you did please hit that like button and if you have any questions or anything just let me know thanks